Hey everybody, welcome to the video. I hope you're having a nice day. And at this moment, I'd like to share this precious special time with you and talk about judgment. Many spiritual teachers and famous authors t talk about judgment and non-judgment and, and acceptance. It can be very confusing for people because the word judgment and acceptance can mean different things. So if you get it mixed up, you can practice it in your life and then it, you don't apply it properly the way it might be meant to be t practiced or at least what is optimally practice, practiced as. So well, first I want to say that it's good. the brain and the mind is a gift. It's part of who we are. It's, it is an instrument that we can use for good. So what you really want to do, so what what judgment doesn't mean what you really want to do is analyze and discern and think the greatest intelligence to be able to think for yourself and to be able to have like be able to problem solve be creative be think outside of the box and question things questioning things and thinking for yourself is the greatest form of intelligence i made another video about that and from that everything else that's good comes in life so when we say about accepting someone, that doesn't mean putting up a crap. It doesn't mean like being abused or putting up a shit. Accepting doesn't mean tolerating crap continuously in our life. We want to have boundaries and be assertive and connect with our lower chakras, our power chakras, combined with our upper heart chakra to be able to communicate effectively, strongly, assertively, but also also tenderly, lovingly, sensitively, if required also, which is usually the case, unless it's a very abusive situation where you have to be very strict. A lot of people become too strict too soon, and really what they really need in an average situation is to know you're not totally 100% right, and to be also very heart-centered too. So acceptance doesn't mean putting up a crap, you should have boundaries. Judgment, to be non-judgmental simply means to don't be condemning don't have a hard heart. That's what judgment means in these spiritual books, like Eckhart Tolle and other people. I got confused too in the past, to be honest. I went too far one, le one level and not enough the other way. Now I now have the balance and I understand them correctly and simply and easily. So I hope I'm, I'm trying my best to share with you what, I, what I've learned helped me in life fully. So it's good to judge it's good to judge as in discern discern analyze and think and understand to realize that's extremely good you want to become clear okay so you know what direction or decision to make you know what words to say or what action to take or not to take and especially also when to take action or words because that's extremely important that's just as important as what you say you have to pick a good time with people it's very 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 important it's part of the equation. It's like the combination to the lock. Get the combination right, when and how, it works. Combined with, like, under that comes from understanding and knowledge and wisdom and experience from making mistakes and being willing to learn. So having an open mind is like extremely important in life, to be humble, to know you don't always know, and just to be willing to at least a little bit, at least 1% or more, that you could be making a mistake just be humble and learn and listen, okay? So, so when it is, you don't want to condemn or have a hard heart. That's what judgment is, okay? But obviously, you want to think. So, another form of judgment means to like to, to like to judge or to just to look at something and say, "Hey, listen, this is not nice. This is this is like you say you can say it's wrong. Like it's not on one level. It's like not nice. I don't like it. It's horrible. It's disgusting. It's rude. It's it's hurtful. It's polluting. It's it's damaging. That's what you can... So for an ordinary ordinary lingo, you can say, I'm judging. I'm judging this industry or this form of behavior is terrible. Hi. So like, you can say, I'm judging like factory farming as being disgusting and like horrible to the planet. Bad working conditions for the humans. Exploitive to animals and humans and the earth. So that's disgusting and I'm judging that. So that's one way you could say. But if you're doing that from like a real like standpoint of um like inner resistance, like blocking your energy channels, blocking your, your blocked heart and a blocked mind, 
that's a different form of judgment. So you can you can criticize something without having been blocked. So this is all about like circulation of energy, heart, meridians, and seeing the spiritual perspective. When you see the physical perspective in the world along with the deeper because the physical is just the surface. When you go deeper, that's the spiritual, like big massive picture, okay? Spanning throughout time with the spirit world and us as a soul having a human experience. When this like all the mystics say, everything is perfect. Yeah, everything is perfect. It's also perfect to want to change things on the surface physical level, the temporary level. So it doesn't mean, acceptance doesn't mean doing nothing. It doesn't mean like putting up with stuff or tolerating as I said earlier. You can absolutely be in full flow and circulation, acceptance and in your heart and unconditional love too. And really be not in favour of something and, and work very hard to change something. So as Einstein says, you don't make change on the same level of consciousness as the consciousness that created the problem. So this is what I'm talking about too in this video, it's the exact same thing. If you want to create change, there's something that you hate, or you dislike, you think it's disgusting, okay? It could be abuse, rape, war, contamination of our water, of our air, the, the Illuminati, bankers, cabal, etc. If they're like the world order, or the if they're like doing stuff, if anyone's doing anything you don't like, your mom, your dad, your son or your daughter, or your workmate or your friend or a stranger, idealistically, you want to be centered and aligned. And you, what you want to focus on is not the problem, but actually the solution. So you pour all of your energy and attention and effort into manifesting what you want in your heart, your heart's desire, okay? Not fighting against what you don't want or like. That is the same level of consciousness. So when you're fighting against, you're resisting, you're blocked. You have the one form of negative judgment that I described earlier. Okay, you're not seeing the spiritual perspective. You're just in full, full closed, basically in a, a mode of being closed-minded and closed heart and closed energy, closed flow, like blocked blockages. So in my life, and I've seen it clearly, I've done both of these as I'm describing. <laughs> One has not good results and the other has very good results. The challenge is to get to go into the one that makes us have good results. And that takes sort of like a sense of work, dedication, practice, focus, reminding ourselves, trying to remember because we forget and we also have triggers and we get automatically reactive and, you know, we sink into the old habits of the unconsciousness of this world, which is largely prevalent. There's also light, of course, love. So, as we grow and evolve as a human being, we become better manifester. The more honest we become with ourselves, the more humble we become, the more open and receptive we become to learning and to be beginner's mind, a humble student, like the Buddhists say. So, in my life I've studied all these type of traditions, Taoism, Taoist, Tao Te Ching, all the spiritual teachers, all sorts of stuff. Spent a long time doing this, like 10, 12 years, 15, 13 years, or I don't know, 10 years. More importantly, I've tried to apply everything diligently, always, as much as I can. Practice being honest, always. And I've failed, <laughs> or made mistakes, countless times, of course. Hope you're enjoying the walk. So... Acceptance, judgment, manifestation, flow, spiritual perspective, temporary perspective. Life is a combination of combining the physical and the spiritual, the temporary and the impermanent. Now the temporary and the permanent, the, the subtle and the dense, the surface and the deeper. It's a combination of body, mind, spirit, physical, mental, emotional. It's a combination of now and another time, like choosing the best time. So, it all takes a lot of practice, knowledge, contemplation, reflection, wisdom, understanding. My favorite quotation is, the truth shall set you free, and my second favorite one is, knowledge is power. Because without knowledge, you can't achieve what you want. When you're left in the dark, or uninformed, or uneducated, you can't get what you want because you don't have the, the information necessary. So, um, I hope I'll leave you with that. I hope this video helped. I feel it's been pretty clear. I hope this video helps you. That's my...
that's my intention for making the video that it helps you in your life to have a better life with your friends, family and loved ones if you want to support me I'd really appreciate it I love it when people share like, favourite, comment and subscribe and thank you for everybody for always supporting my life me my loved ones, my family, my partner, my friends, and my community by empowering me with your money, love, care, kindness, warmth, affection, attention, positive. See you again another time. And check out my links below for my herb shop of body, mind, spirit, essential oils, herbs, superfoods, and enzymes as well as one-to-one -one life coaching of body, mind, spirit and relationship and health coaching. So That's how I try to be of service. That's how I try and enrich the community. That's how I try and do some work and help for the world. And I thank you for helping and being yourself and doing your thing in the world. Keep giving, guys. Give. But don't drain yourself, deplete yourself, but do give. That's the best way to be not depressed. Think about others, get out of your little box, obsessing about yourself, and be kind and loving. Like Wayne Dyer says, it's nicer to be kind than to be right. And I have to say, that is so true. Generally speaking, it's nicer to be kind than to be right. And uh, I'll see you again another time. Take care, look after yourself and each other. Okay, bye.